Hi guys! Today's video is going to be a big watercolour painting all about the pilot uh, style of Steven Universe and for those that haven't seen it go and check it out, it's somewhere on the internet um, where you can watch the pilot of Steven Universe and the designs were completely different for some of the gems and it looks really awesome and I've got a special place in my heart for it. It's a little bit darker, a little bit more serious feeling and yeah, so I'm kind of looking forward to painting these gems. Um, I have already done some sketches here in my sketchbook, but I haven't really done anything super detailed. And I also practiced uh, painting with the colours of the palette last night, and I did a painting of amethyst. But you're going to see that the uh, angle for this video is going to be a little bit weird just because my paper is so big. The reason I'm so excited to use this is because I, I have been looking for this size in this particular paper for a long time. So normally I actually have much smaller paper and this is my favourite brand of paper. This is Fluid and um, the orange one is cold press, the green one is hot press and it's like the smoothest paper ever. Um, I actually prefer it for markers over watercolours. Um, I'm not too good with hot press water, uh, watercolour paper, unfortunately. Um, and this was hot press and I found it so much more difficult to blend colours. Um, it took me a bit longer than I think it should have done. Um, so I prefer cold press and if you want to know the difference, hot press is smooth, cold press keeps that watercolour paper texture and typically you will find most cheap uh, watercolour paper is cold press, it has that texture. Um, it's when you start looking into professional uh, supplies that you find um, hot press and cold press and I think cold is also called not press. Yeah, anyway, my favourite is fluid watercolour paper and it has a cold press finish. It's 300, and, it's 300 GSM and it's absolutely gorgeous. It's gummed on two edges so we have a gum on this edge and a gum on this edge and that means it won't buckle when you paint straight onto it. But I get them from Casa and they don't stock the bigger sizes and I looked everywhere else for them. On eBay they were so expensive. But I went on a trip to Manchester. Yes I did. <laughs> and in an art shop in there they had, this This was in uh, H. Blythe, uh, it's in the Northern Quarter I think. It's opposite Fred Alduas, it's on that road. Um, anyway, yeah, and if you go downstairs, there's like, I've just had my hair cut today and it's like not behaving. Um, if you go downstairs, there's like all the watercolour paper and every kind of paper and pencil you could ever want. And they had my paper and I squealed. And my friend Fiona was a little bit embarrassed, I think. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Fluid watercolour paper is my favourite. This has been a very long intro to a video and I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> Hi guys, so like I said, I um, was painting on my fluid watercolour paper and I love it so much, it's so great and I'm, I'm really happy I found it. And it's, um, the original painting is currently for sale, so if you go and check out my online store there will also be prints of this and uh, for those that have ordered from my online store, I'm still working with Royal Mail to get my account sorted, so things are like in stasis at the moment, but every order is accounted for, don't worry, we're, <laughs> we're working on it. Um, but yeah, so this is a painting of the pilot designs of um, the Steven Universe characters. Gosh, I, I completely forgot the name of the show. <laughs> like how do i do that <laughs> yeah anyway so um i really like the pilot designs um if you go and check out the pilot it's got so much of a darker feel to it um almost like an adult swim feel to it and it's it's really cool um i, I know a few people asked me on instagram uh how i would feel if the show had been kept in this style and I'd have been completely fine. I think it would be a very different appeal, a very different audience, but I I like it now and I like it then. I just, I think the pilot has a lot of Rebecca Sugar style in it. 
it feels very adventure timey and I I mean Rebecca Sugar's like my favorite artist so I naturally like anything done with her influence or style and so yeah that's uh that's why I really like it and I do have plans to cosplay as the pilot version of Pearl as you saw at the beginning I've had all my hair cut off <laughs> and it's like pilot pearls now I seem to be going through pearls hairstyles I and my last haircut was like the very early designs of pearl <laughs> accidentally I accidentally get these haircuts I'm I must like not notice my influences <laughs> but um, I mean I've had pink hair since way before Steven Universe but it's still funny um, people are like wow you look like pearl <laughs> But yeah, anyway, so um, obviously using watercolours. I have a new watercolour um, that I was using a lot with Amethyst. And it's one of the Winsor Newton Professionals and it's Cobalt Violet. And I swapped out, I can't remember, I swapped out a brown I don't use very much. Um, it was very similar to the browns that I had. And I put in this Cobalt Violet and it's beautiful. It's such a vibrant colour. And I think, I'm not sure what series it is. I didn't look when I bought it. I just saw the colour. I was like, whoa. <laughs> um, but it, it's beautiful. It's very vibrant. So if you see a picture of my um, watercolour palette in the future, you, you'll, you'll see it straight away. It sticks out. And it's absolutely gorgeous. I had no other colour like it. I'm really glad that I got it. Um, but yeah, so I used a lot of that with per uh, Amethyst and uh, I also obviously used my fine techs there's a lot of fine tech oh we've got a bumble there <laughs> bumble decided to uh, help me out with my painting and yeah so I I really I did actually really enjoy this painting a lot I I just I always wanted to do a painting of the pilot gems and I think getting that cobalt violet was just like okay now I need to really paint amethyst and then I think getting my hair done I was like okay do you know what I'm just gonna do it <laughs> I finally do did it <laughs> um yes yeah, so it, I might be cosplaying um pilot pearl and then um Mel might be cosplaying pilot amethyst and all we need is a pilot garnet and a Steven, because Steven didn't really change. <laughs> like, obviously he looked more Rebecca Sugar styled, but um, he, his design didn't change much. <laughs> um, but yeah, go and check out the pilot. It's, it's really good. And I, I do actually sometimes just watch that on its own. Um, it's, it's a beautiful design, and I can see why the, the Cartoon Network snapped up the, uh, the opportunity to have the show. And yes, yeah, so um, I'm using my Cobalt Turquoise Light for Pearl Skin, which is my favourite in the uh, colours that I have. And um, it is a professional colour. Like I said, my palette is the Cotman 45 Studio set, but I exchanged about half of them out for professional watercolours, so I've got a mix of student and professional. And do you know what? I actually, now that I'm watching the colour Pearl's peach areas, I do struggle to mix peaches, so I might look to see what kind of half pans there are out there, or I might just have to learn it. But I do struggle to mix peaches that I really like, um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna keep practicing that, and hopefully I'll make it. <laughs> uh, also, Pearl Spear. Um, I intend to get a tattoo of Pearl's Spear um, on my forearm. Uh, next to my avatar tattoos, which you might see in the video here and there, and I'm still gonna do a um, a tattoo FAQ video. So if you've got any questions about tattoos, drop them in the comment section. Um, yeah, so I I'm gonna get a tattoo of Pearl Spear along my forearm, and people are like, but the show hasn't even ended. What if you hate how it ends? And I'm like, uh, I'll take that risk. <laughs> Um, one of my friends is getting an entire sleeve of Steven Universe done, so, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm not getting something that, like, insane. Like, her tattoo is amazing, but I don't know if I could dedicate a whole arm to Steven Universe right now. 
<laughs> but yeah, so um, I actually think painting Garnet's hair was my favourite part of this painting. It was really therapeutic because um, I actually really struggle drawing Garnet regularly and so <laughs> I was like, her hair is much easier to draw like this. Um, yeah, so I'm trying to think what else I can say. I've got, I've got a lot of footage for this. This took me a long time and you'll see at the end I kind of look like I finished it and then I was talking to some friends on Discord and uh, we discussed me adding a background and I went back and added a wash last night and I really really enjoyed doing that actually I think I'm gonna do that more often um, but yeah the painting is for sale on my online store and you can go check it out and get the original or you could get yourself a print and it would be great if it could go to a home that would really love it and cherish it because I am this close to not selling it. If I get really attached to a piece, I I can't sell it. Um, it's like my Malachite and my temple piece. Like I've mentioned where I want my temple piece to end up, but I I can't sell Malachite. I love that painting. <laughs> I was so proud of the water. I was like, it's the first time I've painted water and I'm proud. So I just, I couldn't like I, I didn't have it in me to sell that painting and the same with my jasper zine piece like i put so much work into that and i am really really glad that i'm giving it to mel rather than selling it i, I don't want to sell it <laughs> i get too attached to things i'm sorry when you put your heart and soul into something and then you're like okay it's going now <laughs> But I know that my paintings go to great new homes anyway, and you guys really appreciate my stuff probably more than I do, because I mean, I just put my stuff in a drawer. Even if I'm attached to it, I'm like, I'm just going to put it in a drawer. <laughs> I feel like I can't have my own artwork on my walls, like I'd be too big-headed for that, if that makes sense. <laughs> I don't know if you guys feel the same, like, would you be, like, would you think it was big-headed of me if I put my artwork on my walls or do you put your artwork on your walls like let me know oh there's my gold paint you know how much I love that gold paint that's the fine tech uh fine tech pearl colors gouache I think it's called it's it's stunning and it's just the best <laughs> like I've used gold gouache I've used gold ink I've used sharpies I've used all sorts of metallic things to get that metallic look stuff and shy of just like transfer foil nothing gives a look like this does it is amazing why is my doorbell ringing why is my doorbell ringing <laughs> hopefully ryan can go and get that because uh i am recording <laughs> sorry about that guys and yes yeah, so i'm adding the gold fine bits and if you go check out my tumblr which is where i'm starting to post a lot of my art actually so if you could go check out my tumblr i i've not got a lot of followers on there actually and um oh my gosh why is everything so noisy um if you go check out uh, my tumblr it's just morganamelia.com and there'll be a link in the description if you go check that out i have um this piece on my tumblr as well as a lot of development work for my comic and i would really love it if you could go check out my tumblr i would really really super appreciate it um i am trying to get a bit more of a following on there so any any followers that would like to go and follow me there i also do actually reply i have a personal tumblr as well and i put a lot of um, I answer a lot of questions on there, um, like anonymous questions are always open, even if I get hate, that kind of thing. Yeah, so <laughs> I don't get a lot of hate, thankfully. Um, but I've had a few weird messages. <laughs> um, probably nothing like that anyone on here has sent. I think I just like got random people messaging me. Um, but I'm always happy to talk about artwork and uh, some personal things, not too many personal things. Yeah, like I said, I've got a personal Tumblr and an art Tumblr. And if you could follow me on my art one, I would really, really, really appreciate that. Um, but I'll put a link to my personal one if you're interested in following me on there too. Um, it's totally up to you. 
<laughs> oh my gosh, I've still got like four minutes left. I think I think I'll just stop talking because surely it's annoying at this point that I talk so much. <laughs> <laughs> the warp pad, I will say this, the warp pad in the pilot was rainbow coloured. I love it. I love it so much. So I was just like, now I get to use loads of different colours. <laughs> and I think it really finished off the piece to a certain point, but it still looked like it was lacking. And that's why I added the wash with the masking fluid at the end. And I was so happy with how it came out. I mean, why did I put it? It's in the drawer. It's in the finished drawer. <laughs> Dun dun dun, the finished draw. And I was actually on Skype for a lot of this with my buddies. Um, there was like Ash, Nick, Chi, Andreas, Carter, Matt, Jasper, like all my mates. <laughs> it was sat on Skype and they were having like a private live stream, as they called it. I just took my webcam on and like chatted, and we we're all sat on webcam, and it was really nice. So I've got a lot of like happy connotations with this painting it was a nice thing for me to paint and it was really fun whilst i was doing it so yeah it's it's a happy painting <laughs> but anyway check out my tumblr check out the links below and yeah um let me know if you've seen the pilot of Steam universe what you think of it and i will see you in my next video next week see you later guys bye